You're watching Action 10 News, first at four. Welcome back and thanks for watching Action 10 News First at 4. I'm Drew Spire. A most interesting troubleshooter story today. A woman bought a house that apparently has two addresses and she's not living in the house she thought she bought. Here is Andy Lascano now with part one of the house with two addresses. Good morning. It's me. This is Maria Ortega's story of how she bought a house with different addresses. 412 Coke is written on an outside wall because Ortega says that's the address on the contract she signed with the Markman Brothers when she bought the property, her first home, on June 7, 2018. See, I wrote this yeah. right there. They right. scratched it out right. and they neoned, wrote right. everywhere all around the house, 1821B. That would be 1821B La Pan, right on the corner of Coke and La Pan. 1821 La Pan would be the big blue house on the corner of La Pan and Coke. That's the house Ortega insists she thought she was buying. I looked at the property. I didn't know that the properties were separate. When I told them that I wanted this property, they moved me into this house. They never told me that that house was included. So all this for $53,500. Ortega says she lived here without power or water for a year now. And the smell coming from this sewer directly in front of her house, she says, can be overwhelming at times. Plus... There's, there's possums, rats, you know, roaches, bees, ants, spiders. I've been bit by spiders many times. Ortega compares this place to a storage shed. And when she's tried to get city services, she told the troubleshooters they've told her her address doesn't exist on the records. So for those reasons, Ortega decided she wasn't going to pay her $571 monthly mortgage payments. I stopped giving them payments. I wasn't going to give them payment on something that they couldn't locate. So Markman Brothers foreclosed on the property and tried to have Ortega evicted. But because the subpoena was sent to 1821 La Pan and not 412 Coke, the eviction was dismissed. Ortega says she works as a home provider but is currently unemployed. She's fighting this eviction in part because if she's kicked out, she has nowhere to go. The troubleshooters contacted the Markman Brothers, Nueces County Appraisal District, Code Enforcement and Development Services on behalf of Maria Ortega. What's happened here? And what, if anything, can be done to help her? That's coming up tomorrow on part two. Andy Lascano, Action 10 News. Now, late this afternoon, Markman Brothers told Action 10 News they have hired an attorney to look into this matter, and we'll have that part of our investigation tomorrow. And as always, whenever you need help from the troubleshooters, send us an email at troubleshooters at kztv10.com.